Now, on the subject of optimization, there are two very important things we need to take in consideration. First is that all that we can do inside the engine to make our final APK size much smaller. And second is all that we can do outside of the engine, like the assets we're using, if it's 3D models, if it's 2D textures, whatever it is, there are things we can do with those to further optimize um, by size and make sure our APK is smaller. So I'm going to go start now and I'm going to pick a new project, leave it blank and then change our target device to mobile, our quality to 2D or 3D scalable, especially if you have a 2D game or mobile, there's no, there's no reason not to change it. So go ahead and do that. And I'm going to remove the started content because the starter content on itself is kind of big and we don't need that space or any asset from that pack. Now it's important to mention that uh, the difference between Blueprint and C++ or as I have heard since I don't use C++ is that C++ is much more smaller by size and the APK would be smaller. So I'm using Blueprint that already itself adds a lot of megabytes. So I'm going to create a project and here we are. So I'm going to go straight to the settings, project settings. Yeah, okay, so the first thing we can do is go inside our packaging, okay. Now, let's say I just made my entire game and I'm going to ship it out, okay. So I want to make sure that I press on for distribution, okay. And let me explain this for a little bit. When you want to package your project for, let's say, whatever device, there's usually two ways you can package it. Uh, there are two ways it can be built. It can either be built for development or shipping. Now, if you're just testing your game out on mobile or whatever device you need, development is a super like fast and quick way of doing. So you can just go ahead and build in development mode versus shipping when you wanna uh, push your product to the store, uh, to wherever it is you need to do it in shipping mode now it's important to mention that the difference between the development and shipping mode is quite large for example i had a project in development mode that project was 100 megabytes and in shipping mode it, well, it took out 20 percent of that size it became 80 megabytes obviously this is not true for every single project but i've seen a big uh, size uh, difference in sizes between these build configurations so Let's say I'm just going to distribute it for now as it is. We want to use this and and we're going to press on the share material shader code and share material native libraries. And obviously, if you realize it changed a very important thing inside how the graphic functions inside the engine. So it asks you to restart it, but we're not going to do that for now. Next, we need to go to the cooker okay so this uh, now this is where obviously if you have a lot of textures this is very important um, so usually these are going to be set to one by one and the compression quality zero being the minimum uh, you know like the least quality to three being uh, four being the highest in this case it's set to three now um, I'm not sure why but me personally I haven't seen much of a difference now the games I've worked on before for mobile have been 2d maybe that's the main reason I guess this would be uh, this was affect a 3d let's say game but for me personally I have not seen much of a difference so I just go ahead and set it to one so if you have a 2d game I that wouldn't be a problem Usually uh, mobile HDR would be thick, but right now it's not, so we that's good. We take it out if you're not using it. Uh, this, I would set it to 1, and I would go way down to max movable lights. Now, obviously, I have a, let's say I have a 2D game. I don't, I don't have any lights, so I don't need it to be at 4. I'll just keep it at 1, and that will make a difference in the size of the project. If you have a 3D environment and you have a, a light, that's great, but just make sure not to have too many lights. Eventually, this is a mobile project.
No. So, when I first come in, and I'm gonna set up my settings for Android. It says project is not configured for the Android platform. This is super easy. After you have all of your SDKs downloaded and uh, and I'll show you how we can set that up too. All we have to do is press on configure now. And if we're using anything from the Google uh, Play service platform, we can also press on configure now. Okay. So here we have to set up our target SDKs. Those are very important. And this is where it, the biggest difference between the file size that you'll eventually have is pretty much caused by what you pick here. So package game as an APK, absolutely, that's what you want to do for mobile, uh, especially if you're targeting uh, games that are under 100 megabytes, it is best to just press on this. So now we come down to the Android SDK section, I have all of these SDKs set up and I'll, I'll show I'll teach you guys how to set that up in another project but not now another very important thing to do is come here to the settings and open your plugins tab and here you will see all of the plugins that we have enabled for this project now for me personally I did not need half of these plugins so I would recommend you go ahead and uh, uncheck the ones that you do not need because personally I saw such a big difference in size I saw like a 10 megabytes difference in size between some of them and like a project version without them so it's that is important uh, to remember now for the rest of what you need to do is be mindful of the assets you're putting inside the engine so whenever you're exporting let's say an image from Photoshop or somewhere else be mindful of what you're exporting, make sure it's a PNG, make sure its size is not higher than the resolution you need it. And a lot of times, let's say you'll have videos where they're like 30 megabytes and that's not good to put in your game. So what you can do is a lot of times go to these uh, websites where you can compress the quality of the video. Obviously be very careful of this since compressing can a lot of times ruin the whatever texture you have or whatever video you have but a lot of times uh, for me it's worked out especially that it's on mobile you know this resolution is much more smaller than it will be on PC so a lot of times I've gotten away with a lot of stuff when it comes to developing for mobile so I've already developed a project on mobile before and I'm going to put the link of that game down in the description so you can go and see what kind of stuff you can do uh, with Unreal on mobile and that the project size of that uh, game is somewhere around 90 megabytes but it has a ridiculous amount of pictures and animations and so thank you for watching if you have any you know if you want to see any other tutorials let me know in the comments below what you want to see in the future i am planning on making much more tutorials and thank you